Today, I'm going to make a beautiful web page with details about animals. You little ones will also like it, right? Let's create the CSS code in a separate field called style.css just like the previous lesson in today's lesson too. Let's go to the style.css page on the left side panel. Let's type it like this. From the first line body, open curly brackets. After entering between the curly brackets, I come to the second line. Now, let's type the CSS code needed to change the font of this body part here. It is typed as font-family colon verdena semicolon. The curly brackets in the third line show that the body part of the page has been completed. After entering next to the curly brackets in the third line, I open a table curly bracket in the fourth line. I enter between the curly brackets and come to the fifth line. In this line, I change the margin of the table we are going to make to margin colon 50px auto semicolon. I go to the sixth line and give a text dash align colon center semicolon in this line. The part related to the table ends with the curly bracket in the seventh line. When we changed the styles in the previous lesson, the code was given to change all the tags of that type on the page. For example, let's take this td tag that I changed. Here, when I give the corresponding style to the td tag, all the table data in the table will change like this. But depending on where the tag is applied, if it is the same tag and if you want to give it a different style, you can use the element called id. When using id, we can name the tag by applying different names. We need to name the name we use in this style sheet with the hash sign as id equals in html file. Well, let's create the code now. Now, I name several banners in this way starting with the hash sign in the 8 line. Here, I name the names of the banners used for the images in the HTML code. Now, I enter between these curly brackets and give codes to change these pictures in these lines. Here, I make codes about the width, height, border and the margin of the picture. Now, with the curly brackets in the 14th row, the changes related to these pictures are over. Now, let's add the codes related to the td tag in the table from this 15th row. Apply the td curly brackets in this line, enter between that and type as width colon 300px semicolon in the 16th line. Now, we have finished changing the width of the td tag related to it. Now, in the 18th line, I will name the changes related to the div tag. Since this web page is about animals, I will separate the parts of this page as terrestrial, aquatic and amphibian. Let's make the necessary formattings here. I use the names related to these divs. Then, it is very easy to make the necessary changes to the div tag separately. In this line, I give the code that is needed to be in the middle of the three div tags. Now, in the 21st line, I am creating the codes needed for the terrestrial dash div tag. We have now given the way to change the color of the background, color and size of the border and the color of the letters in this tag. The part related to the terrestrial dash div tag ends with the curly brackets in the 25th line. Now, let's change the parts related to the aquatic dash div tag from the 26th line. Type as hash aquatic dash div in the 26th line and open curly brackets and enter between that. Now in the 27th line, background colon hash 2faff7 semicolon, then enter and come to the 28th line and use the border colon 1px solid black semicolon. Now in the 29th line, it is given as color colon white semicolon. Now we are done with the changes related to this div section. You don't need the same color code that I used, you can use any color you like. Well, now let's change the amphibian's div. Just like the div tags we created earlier, let's change this tag as well. Let's start with the 31st line. In this line, type as hash 
amphibians dash div open curly brackets and enter between it. Now background colon hash 468607 semicolon then enter in the 32nd line and come to the 33rd line and use border colon 1px solid black semicolon. Now it is given as color colon white semicolon in the 34th line. I will make another code called intro. It is typed as hash intro open curly brackets and enter between in this line. Now it is typed as text dash align colon center semicolon in the 37th line. Now the codes related to the intro part end here. Now I'm entering the style that is commonly used on the web pages in the 39th line. Here I'm giving the codes needed to change the height and width of the images, color and the size of the border and the margin in this way. Well, I will make some changes related to the H1 tag. I open an H1 tag from the 46th line. Now open a curly bracket and enter between it and type as text dash align colon center semicolon in the 47th line and color colon hash 6A2C70 semicolon in the 48th line. Now we have finished making the style sheet. 